Today we're going to go over some variations of spinal cars and isolate the thoracic region and the lumbar region into two separate exercises. So we have our traditional cat camel, which is a super effective way to get some global spinal flexion and extension. But if we need to isolate one of those two segments, then using a thoracic cat camel or a lumbar cat camel is a really effective training tool. So the first one we're going to show is lumbar cat camel. We're going to set up quadruped position, eyes in a straightforward neutral orientation, and then we're just going to round all the way up, squeeze the glutes underneath, pull the chin down towards the chest, hold that top position for a second, and then slowly keeping the hands pushed into the floor, bring the chest towards the ground, lift our head and tail, looking up and forward as we come down into full extension. Come back up into full flexion. Rounding, just to squeeze the boots on your knees, tuck them on the chin. And then coming back, pushing those hands into the floor. So look up and forward, and then back to neutral. So that's our traditional cat camel. Now we're going to show the two variations that we can separate um, from full global extension and flexion into just thoracic or just lumbar. So this is going to be lumbar first. I'm going to start my same position, quadruped, and I'm going to push my hands into the floor and try to spread them apart slightly and hold that tension. Now I'm going to push my tail up and back. in the tension in my low core and then I'm just going to attempt to move the upper part of my back. I'm going to breathe in, solidify my hands by pushing down, extending my elbows hard and then spreading my hands apart slightly against the floor and now I'm going to push my sternum towards the floor as far as I can into extension, keeping my low back tight and then I'm going to round up. As I push down, pushing my chest towards the floor, not squeezing my shoulder blades together, still keeping my hands spread against the floor. And then as I round back up, I just move each individual segment of the spine into full flexion without rounding my low back. Come back down into a neutral position. And now I have two different ways to train the spine in addition to full global spinal extension and flexion. I can work just my thoracic and just my lumbar spine individually. 